as iron sharpens iron, so do men sharpen men. Anyway, what are you made of? Are you made of iron? Are you made of clay? Are you made of rock? Are you made of wood? What are you made of? Welcome to Narrowgate, where Jesus himself is the reason. Um, as I'm bringing my message to an end, a message that I entitled it, The Story of Mary, it's your story and it's my story. The Bible says, angel visited Mary, Mary who was innocent, ignorance, when it comes to pregnancy, Mary didn't know anything about pregnancy until one day this angel interrupted her life and told her that Mary, you are going to conceive without Joseph. And uh, Mary said, wait a minute, how could this be? Or how can this be? And the angel told Mary that the Spirit of God will come upon you and the Spirit will do his own thing. And not only that, um, the angel told Mary that her cousin or her family member Elizabeth who was in her old age is also pregnant. I want you to see something here. One, Mary was young. He has never met a man. When you talk about sex, she hasn't done it before. Yet she was going to get pregnant and this thing has never happened before in the history of humanity. And guess what? On the other hand, Elizabeth who was in her old age past the age of bearing children. She is also pregnant. Another mystery. And the angel was connecting those two interesting people together. What did they have in common? One, I know that one of the biggest things they had in common was people doubting them. People doubting them, people believing their story. One of the things that they had in common is a common mockery. The, the people were going to mock them. People were going to mock Elizabeth. That look at that old lady. She's too old and she's not sleeping. Now she's pregnant. Oh my God. We are, we are not just living a life just to have fun and go away. No, there is something that we are bearing. That thing needs to come out. That thing needs to be birthed. It's God who has placed it in us. It's so unique. It's only you who has it. Mine is different from yours. We all have different things. The most sad part is that most people live a life and then they leave this world without touching that fruitful uh, vine or that fruit that people had to feed on. They never touch it. They go away with it. They die with it. Who is your Elizabeth? Did you choose your Elizabeth? Or is God who gave you that Elizabeth? We all need Elizabeth in our life. Based on where we are going, your Elizabeth may be different from mine. But the most important thing is that your Elizabeth has to be chosen by God. You need to be directed to your Elizabeth. Most of the time, we make mistakes and we choose our own Elizabeth and our Elizabeth becomes a curse for us. Instead of our Elizabeth to become a blessing and encouraging, and uplifting for us, our Elizabeth becomes a curse. I know so many people, or I've heard so many times, people will say, I never thought he could, he could have done that. I never thought she could have done that. I never thought he could have done that. This is the man of God. This is an adult. This is a chief. This is this and this is that. We, we, we put our trust in that person, that that guy or that lady will groom us. That lady will stand with us. That lady or that guy will support us in every way. But it's just a matter of time that person proved to us that he or she is not the true Elizabeth that will be there for us. Who is your Elizabeth? I'm asking you right now. You need Elizabeth. As Mary was carrying this huge thing, as Mary was going through this kind of life that God has ordained on her, she needed Elizabeth. God himself pointed a person, raised Elizabeth to help Mary. God has raised Elizabeth for you. Where is your Elizabeth? Have you found him lately? Have you found him yet? Has he been there for you? No matter what happened. Let me tell you, your Elizabeth 
will never leave you no matter what. Because guess what? It's God who has placed him there. But if it's God who has placed him there, your Elizabeth will always stand by you no matter what happens. No matter what happens, your Elizabeth will always be there for you. Because your Elizabeth has no choice. Because God made your Elizabeth because of you. Who is your Elizabeth? Who is your Elizabeth? Did you choose your own Elizabeth? If you have not found your Elizabeth yet, it's incumbent upon you, it's incumbent upon me to pray to God, to reveal to us our Elizabeth, who will help us with this journey of life and the purpose and the reason and the destiny that we need to pour into this world. It's so vital that we cannot live a life and die away without pouring that which has been uh, deposited in us. You need Elizabeth, I need Elizabeth. The Bible says, as iron sharpens iron, so do men sharpens men. Your Elizabeth could be just anybody. Could be your spouse, your husband, could be your wife, it could be your pastor. It could be a friend, it could be a co-worker, it could be somebody far away, it could be somebody that you have ne never even seen before. But it's only God who, re who can reveal it to you. Do not choose your own Elizabeth. If you choose your own Elizabeth, things will never be the same. Your, your destiny can be altered, your destiny can be diverted. God has prepared your own Elizabeth. Who will walk you through where you are going. Most of the time, your Elizabeth has been ahead of you based on your destination. Your Elizabeth has more experience than you and he will, or she will be able to help you with this journey. You need your Elizabeth, I need my Elizabeth. Let's pray that our Elizabeth will be a blessing to us but not a curse. May God richly bless you. See you again and I thank you for listening to me. If you like this message, please share it and subscribe to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my Facebook. More goodies are coming. May his name be glorified forever and ever. God, we thank you. Amen.